Today, I kind of feel like I need to talk about how we handle our disputes and, and, and what happens when we, we get in arguments and disputes with people. Because, I mean, you guys, you guys know what, uh, what's out there, right? You guys are seventh grade, right? 13. You guys are teenagers, right? So you guys, right now, the world look at some of you guys like adults, unfortunately, right? Especially those of you who look like me. Unfortunately, it is what it is, but you guys have to understand the game, right? I don't always talk about some of these subjects just because I don't want to. I don't want to scare any of you guys. But if you look out there, if you guys know what's going on, I mean that, that's no joke out there. It's, it's, it's not a game, all right? You guys want to learn how to how to make money, like legit money? Okay. We can talk about that because I know some of y'all listen. So. I'll go back, so I actually, I've made mention of that said that uh, hopefully I'll be respecting this teacher. I already know some of y'all like don't like her. That's y'all think she 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 the odds, she the enemy, she she man, she she, she hate and stuff like that. But um the truth of the matter is, right, even if you don't like her, today it's her. Tomorrow will be someone else in that seat. You know what I'm saying? So right now you guys are in seventh grade. Today, yeah, uh, you're junior high. If you're in eighth grade, in, a few, in, in, in less than 30, 20 some days, I bet you're gonna be a freshman in high school, baby. So there's levels and it goes fast, right? So right now, you're a junior high. Next, uh, next year, you're in high school. And after that, then what's, after, what's after high school? College. College, maybe. If that's if you're bound, I mean, that's good. That's, that, that's a great way to uh, arm yourself with the tools to, to help you be successful because, you know, you usually want to. Uh, and, and, and majority of the time, if you're working at a nine to five, you yeah, paying your hourly rate. So the more education you have, or the more expertise you have on something, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be college, it can be trade school. Because guess what, you learn how to be an electrician, some electricians are making over 80 to over 120,000 dollars a year. That's money to me, y'all like money? I like money. Right, so, but the point is this, to even get to that point, where, let's just use that example, you're a trip, an electrician making 80 to 120,000 dollars a year, it, it don't just happen like that, right? It's, it's basically you got to sit down and guess what? Even if you're an electrician, even if you work on your own, it's going to be a client, right? Who who gives who pays that hundred twenty thousand dollars? You know what this guy? Okay, what what is money? What is money? Money is just a measurement of value, right? So for example, uh, before there was paid money, they used, the measurement was gold, right? So based on it's just a measurement of value, right? So value. So if you want to make a lot of money, you have to provide a lot of value. All right, gold has a certain amount of value. If I, if I drop a lump of gold right here, based on the market, they'll say this gold is worth some X amount of dollars. The dollar, this is this is more real than the money. Money ain't really real. It's just this is the measure. All right. So, but, but what's real is this value, that gold. So what gold do you have inside of you? Because guess what? If someone's paying you $120,000, that's valuable, right? What's valuable? Is it you? Or what's inside of you? Your, your expertise, your knowledge, your experience, right? Another thing, uh, some of you guys are in this, in this last class, I'm gonna tie it in together. Uh, I came in right before here, as I was walking to sixth grade detention, there was a little kid with glasses, he, he, he was walking down the hallway crying. Now, I won't go ahead, because I already know, like, before you ask, I already know what's going on. Like, somebody looked at him and said, oh, he's an easy target, I'm a bully or whatever, right? So I thought to be sitting up bad, he said, he walked in, everybody laughed at him. And then he walked out. I said, all right, well, guess what? Those people that are laughing at you, really, they're not really happy. They're just using you to, to make them happy. They're bored, right? Y'all know that? And also, I told them, I said, it's not about who's laughing now. It's about who has the last laugh. Like I said, right now, y'all seventh grade. This is going to be done in a month. That would be eighth grade. So a little quick. So like I got said in the last class, right here, there's like 10 people. I, who do you know who's going to be rich out of all you guys? Well, let me say, let's say one of you guys is going to be a billionaire. Who's going to be? Is it, is it going to be you? Now, I guess I, I want all y'all to be successful. That's, that's the goal, but in the reality, the real world, it's, it, it, it's, it's very select. It's like a 1% chance. And for you to get a man, the probability of, of, it's like hitting the lottery, right? But there's some fundamentals. If you learn, you can get, you can get, you can be wealthy and successful, right? And, and by the way, Success is not measured by how much money you make. It's just what a record. Ask any wealthy person, they'll tell you that this thing's more valuable than money. What's more valuable than money to me is what's called a peace of mind. 
me being able to lay my head down at night and know that anybody will kick my door, the feds will kick my door, the, the ops will come in, right? That's that, that, that's more. <laughs> hey, that that believe it or not, that's more valuable to me than money, right? Now why why do I say that? Because there's a lot of ways to make money, right? Well, if there's one way, you can do some illegal stuff and make money, right? Or you can scam people, you can do all the type of stuff, right? Money is just a, it's just a measurement of value, okay? Now, now that we know what money is, where does money come from? Does money just fall out of the sky? In an ideal world, I just look up in the sky and money just fall out of the sky. We all know that ain't real, right? So where is money? Money is in people's pockets, right? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here to uh, help you, ch to challenge you to change your mindset on, on your outlook, right? Because if you want to be successful, you have to have what's called a winning mindset, right? Real quick, um, what's the winning mindset? Okay, anybody know what a winning mindset is? Uh, anything I do, personally, I don't know if it's my inborn temperament. Anything I do, even if I don't want to do it, once I start doing it, I try to do the best I can. I actually have to focus on doing it the best I do. And that's me, I do the right thing, okay? Do the right thing. Life's a lot easier, a lot sweeter when you do the right thing. You also get a lot easier when you do the right thing. All right, little lady, do the right thing. I don't know what you mean. You know what the biggest thing is? You're, 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 you're putting too much, you're giving her too much power, if I can say that, right? You're giving her way too much power because but uh, what you need to be doing is look at yourself, like, hmm, why is she always mean to me, right? She could be, and again, what, give me an example of being mean. Say, be quiet, sit in your seat. You know what that is? That's, that's, that's holding the standard, right? And you don't want to know, let me give you something else. If uh, if someone holds you accountable, they actually care about you, of course. It's actually out to what you said. So for example, if, if someone didn't get, like your parents, you bring home an F, your parents say, oh, whatever. That's not holding you accountable. That means your parents actually, believe it or not, your parents actually failed you in that situation. Right? When you bring an old paper, an uh, F, your parents, that, that don't even require that. That's, that. They're actually holding you accountable. Why, why is that good? Because out there in the real world, the world's going to hold you accountable for your actions. And that kind of goes into that accountability method. Hey, do the right thing. Lexi. Win your mindset. You too, Lexi. All right? You're smart. Now, there's no excuse, no reason to be getting to the car. Before, you're not getting ready to be, you know what I'm talking about. That ain't business.